A condition column allows you to rank your watch list by some behavior that you're looking for with either individual or multiple conditions. Let me show you how to build a condition column using saved conditions or condition sets in the condition library. First, we're going to hit the Add Column button. It's the orange plus sign. And then we're going to choose Add Condition Column. This opens the library of all the saved conditions, either that were pre-built in TC2000, or conditions and condition sets that you've created and saved in your library. Here's an example of a single condition being used as a sort column. I'm going to click on My Conditions, and I'm going to click on the condition that is price crossing up through the 40 bar simple moving average. It adds a column. I'm going to sort by that column. And that brings to the top of our list all these stocks that are marked with a check mark that today have price crossing up through that red line, which is the 40 bar simple moving average. Here's an example of adding a condition set, which would be multiple conditions, as a sortable column. Again, I'm going to click the Add Column button, choose Add Condition Column, and from my condition sets, I'm going to choose Gap Up with Momentum. I click on it. It adds it as a column. You can see some check marks are populating. And of course, I can sort by it by clicking on the header. This brings to the top of my list all of the stocks today in the High Cap 1000 watch list that have gapped up and continue to move up since the open. If I want to see the conditions in my condition column, simply right click on the header and choose Edit. And you can see this particular column involves four different conditions that are represented by that single check mark. In other words, the stocks with those check marks have to meet all of those conditions at the same time. Another thing to notice is that at the top of our list, we actually have two stocks that have two check marks. That means they meet the conditions of both condition columns. Today, they crossed up through the 40 bar moving average, but they did so by gapping up and continuing to move up. Now, if I want to take these conditions and sort another watch list, all I have to do is click on the watch list drop down, choose the watch list I want to sort, and now the check marks represent the stocks in the high cap 3000 that meet the conditions of either of my sort columns.